Hi, and welcome to today's vlog. It's my birthday today. Um, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but it's somewhere between 45 and 47. Yeah, not good. Uh, so I thought today, since it's my birthday, I would come and find somewhere that I um, could come and do a vlog at. So I've come to this place behind me, which is Houghton House in Ampthill. Um, it is, without doubt, the most difficult place I've ever been to uh, to try and get a shot. I've been here a couple of times previously, admittedly a few years ago, but uh, I've never been able to take a decent shot here ever. I've never had a single keeper from this place. I don't know why, I don't know whether it's because the house has, uh, doesn't have great symmetry or whether it's just the location or whether it's just me, uh, but I've never been able to actually get uh, anything like um, an image that I've wanted from here so I thought well you know what on my birthday why not punish myself come back over and see if I can actually get something that's uh, worthy of keeping this year the weather's been absolutely phenomenal um, the last few weeks the last couple of weeks and it's set to last it's been literally clear blue skies all afternoons really hot in the 30 degrees and absolutely nothing going on so I've come out reasonably early this morning it's about half past eight and we've still got some cloud in the sky, uh, which should make hopefully for a slightly more interesting shot. Let's have a look and see what we can do and uh, get started. First shot I've decided to go for is slightly down the hill here and uh, what we're doing is we're looking up at the corner of the building so we've got the front elevation and the side elevation and the, the corner that we that we have here fortunately has the highest point of the building so that's kind of the focal point if you like um, and I've shot a panorama I think this angle lends itself to that sort of slightly distorted uh, panoramic look where it almost looks like it's uh, it's falling away to the sides uh, it naturally does that because you've got that high point um, there's a massive dynamic range unfortunately because the sun's quite high in the sky and unfortunately I'm having to shoot into the sun as well with the time of day um, but I just waited till it popped behind a cloud so we didn't hopefully hopefully didn't get any lens flare um, so yeah so that's the first shot it's it's difficult to shoot here i know i keep saying it but it is difficult to shoot here and, and i think i hadn't realized this before i don't know whether i just wasn't paying attention or whether it's new but it can't be because it looks it doesn't look new but it's a whacking great house plonked on the side with a great big wooden fence and that's really a bit of an eyesore you know it's like i'm not sure who decided to plan that maybe the people who own the land and own the house have decided to own this ruin have decided to build on the side of it but it's not great for photography purposes so you know knock it down come on <laughs> obviously you can't do that but it's not great it's, it, it doesn't add i mean if that if if the side of the house there was open space it would make the the um, make this ruin a lot more photogenic So as I said, it is tricky getting a shot here in my opinion. That one on the corner is probably the most obvious one. Um, but just come inside and looking, and I think these pillars might make for quite an interesting shot. Uh, if I can focus up, get square onto them, shoot out 
with the pillars in the foreground and the countryside lit up in the background. If I can get the exposure right, that might make for quite an interesting shot. There's some nice etchings on these as well, if I can get some of that detail in. Uh, some of it is uh, very old, uh, some of it slightly newer, I think. Um, but yeah, I think they, that might make for quite a good shot. So I think what I'll do is set up and see where that goes. So I've wandered around to the front of the building now and I've set up what's probably a bit of a picture postcard shot really. Uh, it's front lit so it should look quite nice. Uh, should get some of the brickwork in uh, quite decent detail with the lighting. It's very harsh obviously but it might bring out some of the brickwork quite well with the textures. And then it, so what, what I've done is I've shot a panoramic shot again and on the right hand side of the image will be Houghton House and then sweeping round to the left you'll see the fields and the, and the rolling hills in the background. Um, there's not a cloud in the sky now um, so it's either going to be black and white or I'll try and emphasise the blue uh, of the sky. Um, like I said it's a bit of a picture postcard but um, yeah it's, it's quite nice and it's, it's nice to get a different angle. So inevitably, I uh, switched my attention away from the house. Um, actually, it might make quite a nice shot from down here. Hmm, might come back to that. Um, and I'm focusing on these three trees over in the distance behind me. Uh, three nice big sort of, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, I'm not even gonna guess. But the three trees over there. Threes are always quite nice in photography. Uh, uh, sets of three. I've got the uh, 70 to 200 on and I'm just focusing in on the actual trees making them the, the actual focal point of the shot and just shooting across the landscape really. I've shot some close-ups, I've shot a couple of panoramics. Uh, we'll see how they go, there's not a lot going on in the sky now but it might make for a nice black and white shot, you never know, it might, might even work in colour but I don't think so. Uh, and yeah, actually this could be a really nice shot from down here of the house. I hadn't realised with all these tall grasses how nice it looks and it also kills the house in the background which is quite a good thing to do so I think what I'll do is I'll just turn around and have a look at that shot and see if I can work something out. quite nice from down here I, I'm not 100% sure if it's worked or not uh, I'll whack the 24 to 70 back on uh, basically what I did because I've got the sun high up in the sky uh, I did the old trick of taking two sets of exposures one normal and then one with my uh, finger covering the sun so hopefully blocking out any lens flare and then I'll blend those two together uh, in post and uh, we'll see how we go um, that's it now, the sun's burned off all the clouds in the sky. So we've got another bright blue, beautiful sunny day. Um, not great for photography, but fantastic to enjoy the rest of my birthday. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, then please feel free to uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed then and you want to, then again, please feel free we're nearly at 500 now so it's channel's growing it's amazing uh yeah and uh, until next time um 
Have a great day and I'll see you soon.